Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends, Mr. Hyde Builder Figure Wave, Tony Stark AI figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many make me I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs don't. Six figures in the wave, you'll need all six figures to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. Quick look at the artwork on the left flat. It is the same on the left and the right. And there's a quick frontal view of the package. All right, let's bust this bad boy open and see what's what. All right, here we go. With not quite Iron Man, not quite Tony Stark, but AI Tony Stark. Final single carded figure in this wave. Once again, big shout out to my man Rectangular for making these reviews possible. This is probably going to be the most sought after figure in this wave, I believe. I think they did one of their best jobs with this sort of translucent look. I think this translated really well. And I do believe it is the head sculpt that will draw many people to this figure. But we know that this body is really great as well as this is the same sculpt or mold from the 80th anniversary Iron Man. Yeah, this figure is going to be the one to get not only because it's something current from the comic books, but it's also an upgrade on an already really good figure. Just a different deco. Actually, it's a more accurate deco to how he appeared originally in this armor in the comic books. And no issue with backwards biceps or reverse boots or anything like that. Very clean, good looking figure here. AI Tony Stark is packed in with the right leg to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. His bio on the back of the package reads, After a tragic death, Tony Stark lives on in digital form as a hologram at the helm of a high-powered robotic suit of armor. So yeah, that bio was a little vague, and if you're a little confused, so am I. But I started doing my due diligence today and trying to catch up on some reading and trying to understand this character and what's been going on in the comic books. Doing a lot of comic book reading in general over the past couple months. But giving you a close look at this head sculpt, like I said, I do think they did a very very good job on this basically what happened here is that tony stark was severely injured after the second civil war and in the event that something like that happened he had like a fail safe or a backup where this sort of hard light artificial intelligence would be able to port into his suit and basically operate as tony stark in his absence in his physical absence so yeah this is like force ghost tony stark basically so let the jokes ensue but a few reasons recommendations you might want to check out infamous Iron Man that run it was a 12 issue run written by Bendis so listen proceed at your, at your own risk at your own caution as far as that goes I'm almost done with it just today I went through eight issues I believe and that features that Dr. Doom armored Iron Man that we got some time back as a Walgreens exclusive which I actually went to try and backtrack and get today I think I'll have one by this weekend we'll see how that turns out but you may want him to pair up with this uh, figure or some version of this figure. You're definitely going to want the upcoming Riri Williams Ironheart figure as she was being mentored by this version of the artificial intelligence Tony Stark. We saw Maria Hill and S.H.I.E.L.D. and a lot of different villains including some of the intelligentsia. So Hasbro's pretty much been on it as far as giving us characters that are relevant, that are present. And again, I think they did a great job here. So two fists for him out of the package. He's also got the two open hands with the finger slightly spread again we've seen these hand sculpts before all of this stuff was packed in with the previous 80th anniversary iron man and for the record this is uh his mark 4 armor the comics mark 4 armor or model 4 and it should be noted that while the color scheme of the red and yellow is more comic accurate the blue arc reactor is unique to the ai tony in this suit so if you really want this to be comic accurate you'll have to paint that and of course he's packed in with a couple of repulsive or blast effects again we've seen these before only difference is they're this sort of aqua sort of translucent blue to match up with his uh head sculpt that's not really a head sculpt because it's just hard light. And then of course his final accessory is his helmeted head and there are some very slight blue highlights in the mouth and uh, eye ports there. So continuing on with that theme, again you'd have to add a little bit of paint here to make this truly comic accurate but I still really do appreciate this yellow and red look as opposed to the gold and red that we got with the 80th anniversary version. Still one of Hasbro's best figures they ever put out, especially for Iron 
Man. In the issue that I'm currently reading, an infamous Iron Man, Riri Williams, does show up in her armor being mentored or being filled in by the Tony Stark AI. Again, Bendis' writing is kind of all over the place sometimes, but I am interested in getting into some of her solo stuff or some of the Riri-centric books before that Ursa Major Build-A-Figure wave drops and we actually get her figure. And I would advise that you do the same. You guys know what the articulation is like on this figure. It's great articulation. I'm not going to waste time going over that. I'll get a couple quick size comparisons in here. I'm trying to track down a couple figures that I definitely want to do some displays with after reading some of these comic books. Again, like I always say, you know, that's the essence of ACBA is drawing your inspiration directly from these stories. And Hasbro has been really on it. There's a quick look at him with all of his wave mates a really odd cast of characters in this wave but a pretty nice builder figure i'll be getting to the mr high builder figure next i have him built i really do like that bath but again i do think that iron man is going to be one of the most sought after figures probably iron man and, and shang chi and there's a quick look at what hasbro has done so far with that 80th anniversary buck pretty much all home runs here in my opinion but now that i'm really looking at the 80th anniversary iron man on the left i don't want to even display with that colorway anymore. <laughs> I really want a totally updated red and yellow Iron Man with the correct arc reactor color similar to what we have here with the AI Tony. And they're about to do the same switcheroo on us with this upcoming modular Iron Man that we're gonna get in the Ursa Major Builder figure wave because like this 80th anniversary Iron Man, that one is sort of like a more golden color and not really the yellow and brighter red that it should be to match the comic book look. So when I sat down with the Hasbro team, Dan had even mentioned that he would like to see that updated because that was one of his uh, favorite armors. So still that new one looks great and they do seem like they're dedicated to going back and updating a lot of the armors that they've already done and making them better. One of the things that they really got right is getting the size of these armors correct. Even with this sort of bigger suited body here, by the way, this is the 80th anniversary Iron Man head on the Logan body from the Logan and Professor X 2 pack. But you can see it still looks like he could be fitted inside that suit of armor. You know, the armor's still a little larger even than the largest suited body that we have from Marvel Legends. So that works out well, I think. And of course you can do that and this. And of course you would need to paint the neckline and the hands to really all look translucent. You know, so the entire body looks like hard light because we have seen him appear like that in the comic book. Sometimes just kind of dressed as a regular dude and sometimes in the suit of armor. So I'm really wondering if they'll explore that more. Maybe they'll take it a step further and give us a couple different versions of AI Tony. But this is a cool figure. Definitely one I would recommend. Recommend. You'll need him if you want to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. And thank you guys for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. My crew dip down in leathers from Prairie Ellis. Driving LCs, moving like good fellas. The stash well hidden in the cash box with a padlock. Stop. Slid up town and back the Fox. Now back to my project where I settle. Sporting gold medals and guarding the base like Greg Nettles.